So the AccuPlacer is an online test. And so I'm actually on the AccuPlacer website right now. And what's really cool about their website is that they allow you to take practice tests, which is really nice because you get to experience um, the different types of problems, but you also get to use their calculators. So just as a reminder, you're not allowed to bring your own calculators um, to take the AccuPlacer test, but they will provide um, resources for you to click on for you to use a digital version. So right now I'm in the arithmetic, the AccuPlacer ar arithmetic practice questions, and they have a sample calculator that you'll be able to use. So this video is not just to explain this problem because it's a pretty simple problem. It's for you to see how you can also use the calculator that's given to you. So the question is, in a science class, each student starts with 100 points. During the semester, John lost a total of 20 points from exams and four points from homework. Okay, so I'm talking about subtraction because it's a loss. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the calculator. And if you see, the calculator can move around. So you're able to place the calculator wherever you feel like you need it to be. I like it just on the right. And then if you look at the calculator, it's cool because it has all the functions. So adding, subtracting, dividing, multiplying. So I may do like a little tutorial of how to use this calculator, but I just want you guys to be able to see it. It's gonna be like this on your test. Now the calculators will change depending on what test you're taking. So there's the arithmetic, then there is the functions test, and then there's also the quantitative reasoning and algebra. So you may have a different calculator each time, but because we're just doing some basic, basic arithmetic, we just have the basic arithmetic calculator. So when I'm solving this problem, 100 points minus 20, so I would type in 100 zero, zero, minus 20, okay? And then I also lose four points from homework, so then I'm gonna subtract again, minus four, and that is going to get me 76 points so far. So they said, how many extra points would I need to earn to have an 85 at the end of the semester? So after losing all my points, I have 76. So if I wanna figure out how to go from 76 to 85, I would now take 85 minus 76, and my answer would be nine. So just a few things about the calculator because that's what I wanted to focus on is that if you noticed when I was subtracting multiple numbers, I didn't have to keep hitting the equal sign. So I was able to do 100 minus 20 and I didn't have to hit the equal sign. I can just minus the next one. So that's gonna save you guys some time as well. So you don't have to hit the equal sign until you've subtracted everything that you need to subtract. So say I wanted to subtract 100 minus 20, but then I wanted to add six. You don't have to hit the equal sign until the very end of whatever you're doing. So that's just gonna save you time um, when you're trying to find your answers. So just go to the AccuPlacer website. It's the AccuPlacer College Board. I'll leave the link in the description. And then just do some arithmetic practice questions. That's gonna help you just be prepared for your next, um, for your, your exam, sorry. And then just go ahead and practice with the calculator because this is going to be the exact calculator that you're gonna be given during the arithmetic portion of your exam. So just familiar, familiarize yourself with it, practice with it, and just get used to entering some things in and subtracting. So I hope this video was able to help you guys and I'm gonna make another video um, with the other calculators that are available, but I'll have to get to those problems in order to see those calculators. Again, AccuPlacer Arithmetic, you just hit the calculator, you can move the calculator around wherever you want on the screen, and then when you're done with the calculator, you can hit X. I chose the number nine, and I'm gonna hit the word submit. And then when I submit my answer, confer confirm that I wanna submit it, and hit confirm. All right. So I logged out, but I hope you guys help. I hope this helps somebody.